estimated uh, meetings and conventions generate about three to four billion dollars a year in San Francisco. And that's when you add up, you know, the cost to put on the meeting as well as all the money that those attending like to spend on things like, you know, hotels, restaurants and shopping. They sleep, they eat, they shop, and you know, we haven't seen that kind of money here in the city since before the pandemic, but now these conventions are starting to return to San Francisco's Moscone Center. First time in 18 months. Crown Force Dan Kerman joining us live tonight with more. Boy, Dan, if you had said a year and a half ago that there aren't going to be any conventions for 18 months, it would seem like an alternate reality. That's right, nobody would have believed it, but nobody would have believed you would have turned the Moscone Center into a mass vaccination site either, but both did happen. But now the first convention since that shutdown has started. It started yesterday. It continues through tomorrow. California Dental Association officials hoping it's the first of many. The sidewalks in front of San Francisco's Moscone Center are crowded again and not with those seeking a COVID-19 vaccine. These are some of the 3,000 people attending the California Dental Association's annual conference. It's nice to be here um, and just finally be able to safely do something rather than being at home. <laughs> I think they did a really good job and everyone has to be vaccinated. They make you show vaccination, so yeah, it's safe. The number of those attending is far below the typical amount, but it's still helpful for hotels which can't survive on tourists alone. With conferences, they bring people to our city, but they bring our employees back to work. When hotels are busier, we bring more people back to work. When uh, hotels are busier, more restaurants get extra business, and that means people coming back to work is also. One market is one of those restaurants that's seeing an uptick in business, not just from the dental convention, but smaller meetings that have been going on at nearby hotels. You know, we still have a, a long ways to go, but we're, we're taking steps uh, in the right direction as these uh, meetings uh, begin to return. It's estimated meetings and conventions generate three to four billion dollars a year in San Francisco. Recovery to that level is not expected until 2025, but industry leaders agree this is a good start. Is telling the world that San Francisco is open and it's a safe city to come and do your meetings. Now, there are two more conventions scheduled here at Moscone for this month. That's the good news. The bad news is a couple other conventions scheduled for October and November canceled due to the surge of the Delta variant and difficulty getting here from overseas. But they are hoping that things will return at least a little bit closer to normal beginning in 2022. Live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.